it's time to take a look at what the Gophers defense did against Northwestern to kind of cause some headaches for their offense at times. Another really good performance by Joe Rossi as defensive coordinator. The defense really kept them in the game throughout the day and continue to show a lot of creativity despite limited personnel at a lot of spots in their defense, specifically in the back end. And that's where you see a lot of problems associated with this team is when the Gophers send pressure and you've got guys in man-to-man -man situations trying to cover down the field. And that's why moving forward into the future, recruiting at the defensive back spots is going to be huge. And also the defensive tackle spot, you're already seeing some of the benefits of recruiting there, specifically with a guy like Jamal Teague. So that's a perfect transition into firing up the film here. Jamal Teague made a really, really huge impact in a couple plays in this game when he came in. When he's lined up over the nose, he does an excellent job of getting interior pressure, causing attention, and helping the linebackers get downhill and fill. He can draw a lot of attention just by the size that he has and his skill set. So let's roll the tape. So you can see here, Jamal Teague lined up right over the center. Draws double team. Linebacker can get downhill and make a great play. Blake Cashman, monster game. But see, Jamal Teague can draw attention. And that's important for this defense to get their linebackers flowing downhill. Third down play right after this. Watch again. Kind of a 3-4 look here where you've got Jamal Teague inside drawing some more attention. Boom. Tackle for loss. Again, more pressure this week. Gophers sent pressure. They shaded Carter Coughlin inside a few times. And it really drew a lot of attention. He's able to get a nice push. He's really tough to defend because he's got power, quickness, and really, really refined technique for a pass rusher. And he's been able to put bring some of that inside when they've shaded him in. And Blake Cashman's just been a monster. He is going to get picked in the NFL draft this year. Just a dynamite downhill blitzer. Incredible rangy tackler. Let's roll the tape again. You can see Gophers sent blitz pressure. Had Coughlin shaded inside, even with his hand in the dirt. There was a few times they didn't have his hand in the dirt. But they also just you know stood him up. And he drew attention every single time. And when you don't have a ton of interior defensive line depth, bringing in a guy like Coughlin kind of adds a nice element to your defense and helps your linebackers be able to blitz effectively and have lanes to get after the quarterback. When you have one of the most productive blitzers in college football, you got to use them. Here's another clip for you. You can see here, blitz again, Blake Cashman, disruption. It's just every single time and then watch him get fired out of a torpedo here just a huge huge tackle in space one of the big turning points in this game was when the Gophers defense allowed a three-play scoring drive after Minnesota went and tied the game at seven and started to show some signs of life on offense the three-play sequence though is the direct correlation to the Gophers sending a lot of pressure which they've done more of lately led to man-to-man -to -man opportunities where you kind of see some of the struggles the Gophers have been facing with personnel. However, it's nice to see them playing aggressive at least. In these situations, what do you have to lose? They were playing very soft off coverage a lot in these situations in earlier games this year. Now they're kind of just taking some chances and getting after it using that front seven that they have. So I'm going to walk you through the play sequence here. So the first play here you're going to see they send both linebackers on pressure, leaving the underneath crosser wide open. There's a the first play. Second play, again, you're going to see more pressure the Gophers send, and it's going to result in another big play. Cashman coming off the edge. Barber helping underneath. Just settles into the soft spot. Third play, read option, Carter Coughlin. Gets sucked inside. Safety gets too far up the field. Boom. Easy touch. The final clip of the week comes from Chris Williamson, a player who has added a huge element to the Gophers' defense. 
stepped up in a big way to defend Rondell Moore last week. Now he comes off a corner blitz in this game. He's super physical, and that's what I really like about him. They really lacked that element when Antoine Winfield Jr. went down with injury. And not only that, but he's really sound as a coverage corner, too, and just adds a leadership component to that defense. P.J. Fleck talked a lot about him being able to make some big calls in that last game versus Purdue. And just having him in your defense is a huge bonus, especially when you're looking and craving for any sort of defensive back depth.